So, we're standing here in the future of the Tropical Fruit Program for Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. These are our new commercial mangoes. We're planting um, 10 trees each of our new generation of mangoes that have disease resistance, size control, quality, and just to die for, okay? This is uh, mangoes to die for is the best way to put it. So we have a young tree here. This tree was planted yesterday or actually two or three days ago. But when you plant a tree like this, the first thing you have to do is get it started on its pruning program. All right, you have to set it on its road to be proper. This is too tall for me. I want my branches down around hip level is where I want to do them. But I just am basically going to come in here. It's going to be a little high. But again, there are no steadfast rules. You just want to get this thing going though. So there, I took and I cut off the terminal bud on here. By cutting off this terminal bud, what'll happen? I'll get new shoots produced. One, two, three, four, possibly five new shoots off of this tree. And these will make my scaffold branches, my canopy for the future, okay? now. By doing this, you set the stage for your tree to be proper and well formed. After that, we're going to continue doing our tipping. Continue, continue, continue to do our tipping throughout the life of these trees, which will make their canopies complex. We'll make our decisions for, for size control and branch selection much more, uh, much easier in the future. But you have to start from the very young stage like this. Again, as soon as you plant them, you need to get your trees into a pruning mode because that is the way they're going to be maintained their whole life. Um, you cannot just plant a tree, let it grow, and then decide to control size. Con size control begins at the time of planting. Okay, now following your initial cut, which was right here, you're going to now get these multiple branches at that point where it was cut. And now we come in and we continue doing this tipping. Now there's no right or wrong time to do the tipping. You basically do the tipping when, when you get, when normally I like to have like two hand lengths for my tipping. Uh, depends on the tree. Some trees I can do a little more tipping than that just because I know I want to make the branch. And the, again, the idea is to make your canopy as complex as possible. So you want to tip, 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 when in doubt, tip in order to create a bush. All right, the bush, when you create that, you get a tree that is going to be more precocious and um, is also, again, easier for decisions later on for pruning, okay? A tree that if you don't do this tipping, you're gonna get trees that are very leggy with, and then you have a very hard decision later on about what kind of, of cuts to make for size control. So this is the tipping, tipping, tipping. You create a bush in the second, third year, and that is how you get to have the precocious fruiting in the second or third year. When a problem comes along, you must tip it. Oh, okay. So, now, we've now entered the third year with a tree following this kind of pruning treatment. And you see, instead of having a tree, we actually have a mango bush. A tree like this is much more likely to bloom and produce fruit. Now what we're doing is these flushes, now they have about two hand lengths. And so we come in and we do our tipping. Tipping is not selective. You don't have to think, okay? This is not rocket science. All you're trying to do is come up and take off the growing tips of all of these. Be careful not to think too much because once you start to think, you get kind of slowed down. But this way, it's a very fast activity. You can see how nicely you can just go around like this, continue to go. You particularly want to pay attention to the upright branches. Those are the ones that you need to tip even more, but I tip everything, again, non-selectively. Keep tipping, keep tipping. 
And then, once you've done all this, the effect is going to be that these branches are going to make multiple shoots from every point that you've made this, four or five shoots. So where you used to have one branch tip, you now have five branch tips. And those five branch tips have a much better chance of blooming and setting fruit than a single one. So, boom, right there, I'm done. And what this will do, this will now create many more growing points. And from all of those growing points, next winter, you're going to have fruiting. So it's, uh, it's very easy, it's rapid, and uh, in the end, it will pay you back by early and heavy fruiting in your young trees.